Hello viewers, welcome back to our channel. So in this case you've been told to determine the radius r. So you've been given this diagram, then from the length from b to c is 6, then from e to b is 1. Now I want to start by demonstrating a simplest trick on how to determine the radius of this quadrant r. Now we'll start by dividing this figure. Now if we divide this figure in this manner from O to B, remember any line originating from the center to the circumference is always the radius, meaning from O to B is R, at the same time from O to C is R, meaning that length OB is the same as OC. So if you drop a perpendicular line from O to meet line BC, then it will divide line BC into two equal parts, meaning this line BC, which is 6 cm, it is divided into 3 cm and 3 cm because this is a perpendicular line. Now, if you look at this diagram, AE, then at this point, if I let this to be X and this point to be Y, then you can see the, the diagram AEXY is a rectangle. So if it is a rectangle, what do you notice here? You notice that from the rectangle, from the point O to X, the length from the length E to X is going to be 1 plus 3. That is 4. So it means from A to Y as well will be, will be 4 because those are lengths of the, the given rectangle. Then, what do you see here? You'll see triangle OAY is similar, is the same as triangle OXC. So that means if the length from X to C is 3, then the length from O to Y is also 3. So if you look at this diagram, if you take triangle OAY, this triangle OAY, it is a right angle triangle. So that is a right angle triangle. So we are looking for the radius which is the hypotenuse. So when you use Pythagoras theorem, a squared plus b squared is equals to c squared, meaning r is the c. If you let your 4 to be the a, your 3 to be the b, then r is the c. So a is 4, is going to be 4 squared plus b, b is going to be 3 squared is equals to c, which is going to be r squared. So you end up with r squared is 4 squared plus 3 squared will be 25. Then if you look for the square root on both sides, then you get the radius to be 5. That is just a simplest trick of determining this. But if you go the usual method, you will have to complete this quadrant to be a complete circle like in this manner. Now if you complete that quadrant to be a complete circle, when you look at the arc, the arc ABC is subtending an angle of 90 degrees at the center, meaning that same arc ABC, the angle subtended by the arc at the center is twice the angle subtended by the same arc at the circumference. So if this angle is 90 degrees, then this angle at the circumference at D is a half of 90 degrees, meaning it is 45 degrees. So if this angle at D is 45 degrees, then the angle at B is 135 degrees because opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. If you look at the collateral A, B, C, D, it is a cyclic quadrilateral and opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. So if this angle is 135 degrees, then this angle here is going to be 45 degrees because some of angles in a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So if this angle is 45 degrees, some of angles in a triangle add up to 180, meaning this angle is as well going to be 45 degrees because this angle is 90 degrees. So if the base angles are the equal, then these sides are all equal. So if this is one centimeter, one unit, then the length AE is also one unit. Now if you look at the triangle AE, C. So the triangle AEC is a right angle triangle, meaning we can get the length AC. The length AC is the hypotenuse. So it means AC squared will be AE squared, which is 1 squared plus EC squared, which is 1 plus 6 is 7. That is going to be 7 squared. So you now have your AC squared is 50. 1 is squared is 1 plus 7 squared is 49. 1 plus 49 is 50. 
Now, having found AC, then you can now look at triangle AOC. If you look at triangle AOC, it is also a right angle triangle where AC is the hypotenuse. So, if you look at Pythagoras theorem, if you let this to be A, this to be B, and that is C, then Pythagoras theorem A squared plus B squared is equals to C squared. So, you can see your A is R, so you'll have the R squared plus your B is also R plus R. R squared is C squared, but C is the AC, so C squared, AC squared, you found is 50. So R squared plus R squared is going to be 2R squared, which is equals to 50. So you divide both sides by 2, then you get R squared is equals to 25. So if you want R, you look for the square root on both sides, then you get R is equals to 5. So 5 is the radius R. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the usual means of determining the radius of that given figure, but the first approach was the trick, which can enable you view the diagram and make a conclusive decision without involving a lot of calculations. Thank you for watching and see you again in our next video.